Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, also car and collector car showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, which is hanksters.com. There's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos never come down off of our channel, whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. They stay up for our subscribers to watch our content. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, but more importantly, we install them. Our facility is about three miles from our showroom here in Daytona, and we do AC. We do uh, custom wheels and tires. We do uh, power steering, power brakes, uh, custom exhaust, uh, dash upgrades, interior upgrades, uh, suspension upgrades, pretty much anything you think uh, that you might want to have done to your classic ride, we can handle at Hankster's Garage. So check that out as well. I have an awesome car to present to you today, a car I'm really excited to have in our inventory. It's a 1968 Oldsmobile 442, and uh, it is a convertible car, and there's so much this car has going for it, um, and I'm going to tell you all about it right now uh, so that you can snatch it up before somebody else does. 1968 442, uh, one of the uh, selling features of this particular vehicle is that it's a 455 car. So it is not a 400, it's a 455. Um, that silver contraption you see mounted to the uh, corner of the driver's side firewall up there, that is your power brake booster. Um, brand new brake booster, brand new master cylinder. Buried down here somewhere um, under the alternator, yep, there it is, power steering reservoir. So the car does have power steering. That box you see on the passenger side firewall, that is an AC box. Now there is no AC in the car anymore. There hasn't been quite some time, uh, but the car did start, start life with factory air. Uh, no longer has air, but at Hankster's Garage, if you'd like air added, we can certainly do that for you. So what else about this car? Maroon in color, when we get to the interior of the car, you're going to see it's a center console four-speed car, 455 car, power steering, power brakes, uh, four-speed, a uh, power drop top. Not just a convertible top, but a power drop top. Let's do the paint first. Um, on the top of the hood and the fenders, the paint is in fantastic condition. A really nice uh, paint job on the car throughout the entire vehicle. Uh, your uh, hood grills are in pretty decent shape. Uh, some of the black is uh, chipped away a little bit, black paint, but uh, the chrome itself uh, in really, really good condition. Speaking of chrome, how about that chrome front bumper? Uh, both front and rear bumper chrome is in really nice shape. Um, take a look at the still photos. Take a look at our pans and the video presentation um, of the uh, both front and rear bumper. In the uh, front here, you got the 442 designation in the uh, grill area. Uh, headlights are all in good shape. Same thing with the uh, bezels that encompass the uh, front headlights. So those are, you know, that plastic kind of gray uh, material that you're familiar with on a lot of General Motors products. Sometimes they uh, get some stains in there and whatnot or uh, fade due to age. These are in pretty good shape. Going around the car, you're going to notice a couple things. First of all, raised white letter Cooper uh, tires, radial tires that are brand new. We put them on the car. The other ones were dated, um, so we put them on the car. We bought this particular unit from a uh, collector here in Port Orange, Florida, and uh, you know, uh, we know the we know the owner of the vehicle, um, and we bought a couple off of him. So uh, the wheels themselves uh, in real nice shape. So all of your uh, accents on the wheels, the beauty rings. Uh, the chrome accents, uh, the lug nuts, we put all those on. Uh, they were all brand new in the trunk. So uh, all that stuff is new. So everything you see on the wheel, um, from the lug nuts to the beauty rings to the uh, 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 chrome accents to the tires, all brand new. Uh, stripe on the driver's side front fender in nice condition. Uh, no bubbles, no cracks, no fade. Same thing with the paint. The paint throughout the entire driver's side front fender also in good condition. No clear coat fade, um, no discoloration, uh, no chips, 
no bubbles, blisters, cracks, anything else you can think of that's a issue with old paint. Front windshield, uh, in nice shape, uh, no cracks or chips in it. Looking through the front windshield, you can see onto the dash pad, that's also in good condition. Um, do have a, a little bit of pitting on the chrome there on the vent window, as well as a little bit of uh, dryness there on the vent window rubber. Uh, glass clarity on the car, I know I have the windows down right at the moment. However, the um, <clears throat> glass clarity on the car throughout the entire vehicle is really nice. You can check that out in the still photos. Anytime we do a convertible presentation, we do it with the top down. Gives you a nice uh, up close and personal view of the interior. The top on this car is fantastic. I told you uh, once it's power. We'll show you that on the test drive presentation. There's uh, no rips, no tears, no fade, discoloration of any kind in the convertible top. We'll have uh, several still photos of the car with the top up. Dual mirrors on the car, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Um, door fitment, body lines on the car, fantastic. Take a look at the uh, driver's side door fitment to the front fender, to the rear quarter, low on the rocker. It's all uh, nice and tight. There's no uh, door hang there, hanging above, or, you know, out. Uh, past the rocker, past the uh, rear quarter. Take a look inside the car. Uh, those are not factory front seats. Those are aftermarket seats up front. Um, that's the way we bought the car. We don't have the original seats. Those are the seats that come in the vehicle. Uh, rear seat and front seats, both in good shape. I told you earlier in the presentation, it is a center console four speed car. So uh, center console's in pretty decent shape, uh, as well as the entire interior of the car. We will pop the uh, door open here on the driver's side so we can take a look uh, closer at the interior. Uh, so door panel, uh, when you open up the door, um, the door panel itself is not warped at the bottom. Armrest is not torn. Uh, no discoloration going on up top. Do you have a crank window for your vent, crank window for your door glass? It's gonna be the same in the rear on the quarter windows. Um, you can see the courtesy lights illuminating there. Um, Here's the uh, driver's side over here, you can see. Uh, and then the passenger side over there reflecting on the uh, passenger side door and door panel. Uh, seat back again in the uh, rear of the car in nice shape. I'm gonna try to put the seat forward a little bit for you guys here so we can take a look at the carpeting. Carpeting in the car is in good shape. The uh, carpeting up front. Steering wheel's in nice condition. Yeah, car's really, uh, I, I, like I told you at the beginning of the video, I, I like this car a lot. Um, it drives fantastic. We'll show you the test drive portion of this vehicle. Um, I, I really like the vehicle. Um, how about the rear quarter? Uh, you know, when you hear people talking about, you know, how straight is the car? Well, what they're referring to is the body lines down on the side. So the, the rear quarter, that lines to the driver door, that lines to the front fender. Uh, this car's straight. The body lines are fantastic on it. They really are. How about your deck lid fitment? Um, so you got two things. Number one, does it fit flush to the quarters? It does. Second thing is, how are the uh, gaps, so the uniform? Now, I'm not, I don't have a micrometer, but they look pretty damn good to me. 442 on the passenger side of the deck lid. Chrome on the rear bumper, you have your reverse lights. Down low, you have duals uh, sticking out beneath the uh, rear bumper of the car. Huge rear bumper on this uh, 442 68. Got the Hearst equipped logo here on the uh, deck lid as well on the driver's side. Your iconic Oldsmobile um, designation there on the, uh, on the deck lid directly above your key lock here. Pop the trunk. Pretty simplistic, no jack, no spare. I promise you we didn't take it out of there. Um, the trunk mat in the car is brand new. I'm gonna attempt to put the trunk mat forward without tearing out any wires so we have brake lights when we're on the test drive. Um, nice and solid in the trunk area, no issues there, no rust, no holes. Good stuff, it's a good car. Um, body lines. 
are going to be the same on the passenger side as the driver's side. Real nice straight car. Um, rear quarter is nice. Uh, we'll get shots here throughout the presentation of the car low. We'll make sure that the uh, rear quarters aren't all cracked up, paint, flaking, peeling, damaged, you know, anything like that. Uh, the car, uh, really nice paint throughout. I'm going to show you a little tiny imperfection here in just a couple moments, about the only thing that I see on the car. Uh, but uh, rear quarter paint here up top, down low, all in real nice shape. I will pop open the passenger side door even though the top's down. I just want to show you the door panel, show you the fact that the courtesy lights also illuminate. Um, so the door panel on the passenger side, uh, check it out in the video, check it out in the still photos. Uh, it's good, armrest, you know, the door panel's nice at the bottom. It's not all warped away from the uh, actual door itself. None of the seats are torn, uh, neither in the front nor in the rear. Look at the carpeting on the hump next to the uh, four-speed shifter there. It's not torn, it's not faded, it's not stained. When you close the door, the, the uh, door lines up nicely to the rear quarter and to the front fender down low on the rocker. Um, panning the bottom of the door now so you can see that there's no paint issues going on at the bottom of the door. The uh, black stripe uh, that goes uh, above and below the 442 emblem is all in real nice condition, uh, laid nicely, no bubbles there, and then of course uh, no fade or, or cracking or peeling going on there. Uh, about the only thing I can see on the car paint wise is there you can hardly even see it. There is some brush touch. Somebody might have got a little too close to the garage there. Um, there's very, very, very faint. Like literally, I can barely even see them in person here. But out in the sunshine, you can, you know, you can see them a little bit. If I didn't point them out, half of you wouldn't have probably even known they were there. But uh, I'll show it to you anyways. Other than that, you know, there's no clear coat fade. There's no spider webs. There's no fish eyes. There's no cracking, blistering, bubbling, debris, anything else you can think of. I don't know. I rattle off just about anything that I can think of. So, but the paint in my eyes is an 8 out of 10. It's a really nice car. Um, it, I, I don't know when it was painted, but I can tell you when it was painted, it was a pretty expensive paint job. It's not some something somebody did in the backyard, um, nor is it something somebody did at some cheap body shop. It's uh, definitely a professional paint job. 1968 old 442 convertible 455 car. We're going to take it out on the rack. We'll throw it up in the air and we'll do an undercarriage presentation. And then after that, we will do a test drive. Everything we're doing in these videos, you can do it yourself when you visit our Daytona Beach showroom, which is what I encourage you to do. We are in the market of selling 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They're not new. They all have their flaws, their tendencies, weaknesses, deficiencies. Um, some of which we show you in these video presentations. We show you a lot more positive aspects of the vehicle than negative because that's what we try to buy, are nice cars, turnkey cars, cars that are driver ready, driver quality, cars that can be enjoyed. But if this is your first class of car purchase, or maybe you're a more specific or particular buyer, don't buy the car sight unseen. Come to our showroom, visit us in person, meet our sales staff, We'll show you our business operation. You can see all the cars we have in our inventory. You can see the quality of them for yourselves firsthand. We'll take this 442 or whatever vehicle you're interested in outside for you. You can look at the car real good out in the natural light. We'll gladly put it in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, the bottom of the motor, the transmission, the suspension components, the tires. We'll let you drive the thing. Some are better than others. I've been on some test drives that maybe people haven't driven a four speed in a little bit. Um, you know, we'll let you drive it. You can see how the car uh, performs, accelerates, stops, starts, steers. Um, this way, when the car shows up, wherever you might be located at, there's no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We don't have a, all this abundance of spare time on our hands to shoot 100 photos of every car and a 20 to 25 minute video presentation of every vehicle because we don't have anything better to do with our time. We do that because the majority of our business is conducted sight unseen. We are, at the end of the day, an internet-based business, and we have been for over 20 years. Hopefully that 20 plus years of longevity tells you something about our business model, what kind of car we turn out of our showrooms in here in Daytona, and as well as in PA. 
you know, we make a lot of people happy, and, and the majority of our business is done sight unseen, so we, we conduct a lot of transactions that way. But again, if you are a more specific buyer or a particular buyer, or you've never purchased a classic car before, you saw one at our car show and you thought it was a good idea to buy one, I'm good with that. We'll sell you one for sure. We'll also explain to you what your expectations can be with owning one of these cars, how to store it, gas it, care for it, maintenance it, type of oil to use. You know, we'll go over all that stuff with you when you visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach. We'd be more than happy to. We really enjoy doing that. And um, we'll do that when you visit us. Plus, there's a lot of cool stuff to do here. A lot of restaurants on the water, shopping for the ladies. You got the Speedway only a couple miles away. You got uh, our awesome beach here in Daytona a few miles the other direction. So, Daytona Beach, Florida. Stop in, say hello, and pick yourself up a car. Let's take our 442 outside, we'll pull it around the building and throw it up in the air and check out the undercarriage. And then after that, we'll drop it down and we'll do a short little test drive in Daytona Beach and show you how the car runs. Underneath our 68 Olds 442 convertible 455 car, you have disc brakes up front. We will take a walk past the cross member and we will do a shot of the front seal. You see that's nice and dry. By the way, we unfortunately did have the motor out of the car. We don't do that often, but while we did, we sealed up the whole motor. So it's got a brand new rear main seal and brand new seals and gaskets on it. So uh, you shouldn't expect any leaks for a couple miles anyways. But no, and all kidding aside, uh, the motor's been completely resealed. We just had a front uh, a rear main seal leak that was a little, a little too bad, so we had to address it. Um, the uh, uh, frame rails on the car, absolutely fantastic, both sides, driver and passenger. The uh, floor pans, you can see they're all one piece. They're not sectioned in. They're not uh, silicone. They're not, uh, you know, patched. They're, they're real nice. It's a real nice car. Uh, the cross member supporting up the transmission. No holes, no rust, no rot. And while we're there, transmission looks nice and tight, nice and sealed. No issues there. Headers, both sides, driver and passenger and they are not bashed in. Uh, you know, some people get a little too low sometimes there on certain uh, roads or whatever, get some header issues, uh, none. Uh, no scrapes, no uh, punctures, no rot holes. Uh, the uh, welds on the pipes look to be good. Um, and in the pipes themselves, there are no uh, rust holes or rot holes of any kind. Uh, the car did have cutouts on it at one time. Obviously, those are now blocked off, no, uh, no more cutouts. Um, drum brakes in the rear. Big 12 volt rear to uh, coincide with that big 455 up front. Told you in the showroom the raised white letter Coopers are brand new. We'll actually show you the uh, red and blue lines there. Those babies only have about maybe five miles on them. Gas tanks in good shape dual exhaust, frame rails by the way, uh, throughout the entire car, both driver and passenger side all in good shape. This is a nice vehicle. It's going to be an uh, inexpensive, uh, awesome muscle car. You have a convertible top, uh, you know, four speed car, uh, big block motor, I mean really a fantastic automobile. We're going to put it down on the ground, take it on a test drive and show you how it runs. But before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. Cash buyers, cashier's check from your bank, bank wire transfer. Our more common method of payment is bank wire transfer. It puts the funds there the same day. And guess what? Your car is processed for outgoing shipment in the order that they're funded. So the sooner you get us the funds, we don't have to wait for checks to clear and stuff like that, the sooner you get your car. If you're financing one of our classic cars, collector rides, uh, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 15 year loan on these vehicles. 10% down to the purchase price. So if it's a $40,000 car, you're talking about a $4,000 down payment. No prepayment penalty on the loan. So if you pay it off early, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. And 10% is going to be your minimum down payment. Even if your credit score is 900, they are still going to require 10% down. You can do more if you'd like to, but 10% is the minimum. No matter your method of payment, once we're funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process consists of things like torquing the lug nuts, checking the tire pressure, checking your reverse lights, your brake lights, 
uh, function of the wipers, horn, headlights, high beams, low beams. They're old cars. Anything can happen. Anything can start leaking. Anything can stop functioning. So we put it through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction to make sure it's got the green light and it's good to go when you, uh, when you get the car. Once it's through inspection, it goes through detail, and then if we're handling the shipping, the carrier is dispatched. Typically, we can have a truck here within a 48-hour window. However, sometimes it does take longer, especially if you're in a more difficult destination. It might take three, four, five days, but I promise you, we'll get you your car as soon as possible. We do this a couple times a month, and we've been doing this for a couple years. Uh, we've got it down to a pretty good science, and um, we know you're excited to get your vehicle. We're excited that we earned your business. We will get the car there just as soon as we possibly can. Let's set our old 442 down on the ground. We'll take the car on a test drive and we'll show you how the vehicle runs out. In our 442 convertible, so first thing, let's drop the top. sunshine going on. Horn. Turn signals. Let me see where the... I can't even see them. Oh, there they are. Driver's side. And the speedo. Passenger side. Hopefully you guys can see that. The sun glare. Uh, 76,737 is the miles on the odometer. Title reads exempt. Tack. Wipers. Uh, tilt. I think the radio works in this thing. Maybe, maybe, and maybe not. I guess not. No radio. Okay, um, no radio, windows are cranked, we showed you the power top, we're idling nicely, um, dash is in fantastic shape, uh, the center console here, uh, not bad, it does have, looks probably the original one, does have a little bit of patina, you know, around the shifter, but, you know, still all in one piece intact, got a little flip up lid here, a little storage compartment, it's a nice car. So uh, now comes the best part, which is the drive. We're going to take it out and we'll show you how this uh, car runs. We'll bang it through all four gears and uh, show you the 455. Car runs fantastic. Let go of the steering wheel. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Nice, smooth ride. These, I was telling Devin earlier, these friggin' Oldsmobiles and uh, Buicks, man, they really have a nice ride to them. And this one's no exception. Speedo's working. It's right where it should be. Not bouncing all around. By the way, I forgot to mention, I don't know if you can see all the way over to the left, but the fuel gauge does work. I don't know if we can get a shot of that there. It is working. I got some kind of Hyundai thing in front of me that's not really going too fast, but uh, really nice running car, nice tight steering. This is a beautiful piece of equipment in my opinion. You know, it's big block convertible. A uh, fantastic ride, four-speed center console, bucket seats, no vibrations whatsoever in the motor, the transmission, the tires. I told you the tires are brand new, and they ride like it. I mean, it's an exceptional ride in this car. So, at the very least, we're going to have to uh, drop down a second here to take this corner. Now we're going to drop down first because we just got a red light. But uh, here's brakes. No pulsation, vibration, pulling out of the brakes at all. Nice idle, we're not overheating. Again, look at, so my foot's not on the gas, okay? My foot's on the brake and the clutch. I'm not stalling out, things not sucking air, starving for fuel. That's 75 right there. This thing's a beast. 
This motor is set up nicely. It pulls just like it should. Uh, it's not excessively cammed. It's not, you know, it's not a dog. It, it, it's probably the best you could ask for. It, you know, it's a 455 strong motor. Um, you know, the thing's not overheating on you. It's not wanting to stall out of the traffic light. Whoever built the thing set it up nicely. It's got uh, plenty of power. It's got a nice idle. It's a beautiful car. Power top, power steering, power brakes, big block. I like it. I really do. 1968 Olds 442 convertible. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters is our website. I can assure you though there will be a hundred photos of this car on our website today. You know why? Because it's a convertible. Top up, top down, you know, all that stuff. And the convertible top's in fantastic shape. At full retail price, our 442 includes shipping in the lower 48 United States to you on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. The warranty covers engine, transmission, rear end. So if the oil pan gasket starts leaking, don't call us. Batteries, brakes, starters, warranty doesn't cover any of that. It does, however, cover any kind of major mechanical breakdowns that you might have with the vehicle, engine, transmission, and rear end. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, so you could probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver as most independent automotive facilities or franchise auto repair shops are ASC certified. You can't take it to Bob that you work with that claims he's an Oldsmobile expert. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only, no exceptions, so you don't have to bother to ask that question. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money. It takes time to ship cars. You have to look into the driver, make sure they got enough insurance to cover your car and the other vehicles on board. You have to make sure they're reputable. You have to make sure that they can pick it up when they say they're going to, and they can deliver it when they say they're going to. We also make the payment to the driver when they show up and pick up your car. So we write the check. A negotiated price, you're gonna do all that work yourself. You can either come pick it up and drive it home. If you have your own trailer, you're more than welcome to trailer at home. Spend a couple days here in Daytona, and it's freaking beautiful here. And of course, uh, if you need assistance shipping, we can put you with a broker that can help you facilitate that. Hangsters Hot Rods would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.